Hey, it's Christy. You know, a question I get asked as a coach for well over two decades is, how do I stay positive around negative people? And so what I always say is that you have to pay attention to your own alignment. So I want to give you an example, real life example. So I went over to pick my mom up, you know, to go have lunch with her. And she hands me, you know, an envelope from an insurance company. She goes, this is for you. And I open it up and it says my full name, which I really never go by. And it's my, also my maiden name, which I haven't gone by for 20 something years, right? So at least 28 years. And she goes, I don't know if this is real or not. So I call and the you know person on the phone tells me what's going on, da da da, and that these are two policies that my mom and my dad had in my name and gave me the amounts and all that. And my mom was like, no, no, it's not real. It's not real. And I said, Mom, I just talked to the person, right? She goes, oh, it's gotta be a fraud. It's got, it, you better be careful. And I'm like, I am being careful. I didn't give them any information. I'm not stupid, right? Like I'm, I'm an intelligent person. And so they sent me a DocuSign, which is a legitimate, I use it in my coaching business when I work with clients, we signed our mortgage, it's a legit. Plus there was all these different keys, right? So it turns out, there were two insurance policies that my mom didn't know about. So she's like, it doesn't, it's not real. And I even told her mom, this is possible because I had a couple of clients when they were in a place of being negative, being in lack with money. And I helped them get into a place of being, feeling good about money and feeling positive and feeling abundant with money. All of a sudden one client, received an insurance amount of over $10,000 from her father's uh, insurance claim that she didn't know anything about and he had passed 10 years ago. I also had another woman, crazy story. She was scared of her husband, wanted to leave and didn't have any money because he was very controlling. And as soon as we got into that field of abundance and she started to feel free regardless of her conditions, which is what I teach and coach on and certify coaches to do, right? How to come from the inside out instead of focusing on the outside in to create your reality. And she shifted the very next day. She got a check in her name from her mother with a insurance company that she didn't even know about for the amount of $22,000 that gave her the guts, the uh, resources, the ability to leave, to get up and leave that marriage. And now she's happy, she's secure, and she's in a really, she's living a very, very different life where one was abusive. So I told my mom, anything's possible, this is possible. No, I'm, you don't know your father like I knew your father. This is not possible, blah, blah, blah. So I have told her on several occasions in this process, because every time I would talk to her, so what'd you hear about the insurance company? And I'd say, it, it's all good, it's all in the process. So this very day, she said, we were talking about many things, and she goes, so what's going on with the insurance? Like, and it, there's a smirk, like a, like a snarkiness. And I said, you know what? We're going to talk about another subject. I don't like, I don't want to talk about this subject. What else do you want to talk about? She goes, what? Why not? And I said, because you're negative. I'm not negative. I just don't think that you're going to get it. I don't think it's real. I go, well, that's negative. No, I'm being real. I go, no, you're being doubtful. You're being doubt. Having doubt is being negative. So I choose to not speak to you on this subject because you can't seem to see the possibilities and be positive about it. So what other subject do you want to talk about? You want to talk about Alex? You want to talk about, you know, what else do you want to talk about this? And she goes, unbelievable. And I go, and I'm, I'm thinking in my head, yet believable. This is my boundary. If my dad decided to do a secret policy that she didn't know about, or maybe they did, who knows? I'm never going to know unless I go talk to him on the other side. But he's leaving this for me. This is for me. And like that energy, that negativity, that doubt, it's like, no, thank you. So most people go, oh, she's being so negative and putting this doubt. And then it's our own doubt that gets ignited. And so then we kind of do this fight thing or we recoil. When you come back into your own alignment, meaning 
Let yourself feel your soul's light all around you. Let yourself feel compassion. But you have a voice and you can say, you know, that doesn't work for me. This all comes out of working outside of the drama triangle, which is another thing that I talk about and you can watch videos on YouTube about. But when you're in the drama triangle, you're in lack. And that's where doubt and fear, you know, Einstein said, the best decision we will ever make, I'm summarizing, is do we look at this universe? Do we feel this universe is a friendly, supportive, abundant, life is for me, surprise and delights happen, or are we, that's bad. Oh, you gotta be careful. You need to do, you know, yes, you have to be both. You have to ha have both awareness of both. It's a polarity land. There are people that do scams. There are people that, there is that, uh, absolutely. Don't be like, well, do you do? I'm just living in la la. It exists. The polarity, the contrast exists. That's why you do your dil dil due diligence. But where you align and then lean in, right? So negative people, anybody that wants to poo-poo. Even my husband was a little like, I don't know. And I think he might still be a little like, we'll see it when I believe it kind of thing. But nobody else has to be positive about your life and all the conditions, circumstances, things in it. It's all about your own alignment and then what you send out, what you think about it, what you speak about it, what you hope about it, what you visualize about it, what you perceive about it, how you feel about it, what's the essence that you have. Every relationship, whether it's money, whether it's a person, whether it's a condition, whether it's an experience, whatever we are focusing on in our physical world, we have an individual relationship with it. Every single human being has a different relationship with money. It's all first energetic or their moms or mother-in-laws or sisters, brothers. We all have our, do our own unique experiences because we all have our own free will and choice. So how we partner with the world, if we're looking at the world as against us, that's what we create. If we look at this place as so dangerous and harmful and oh my God, I gotta, you know, yes, do detoxing, lock your doors at night, pay attention to the things that you need to do to secure yourself, lock your doors after you walk out of the car, do these things, but do it with a place that know that I am safe, I am secure i am you know i'm positive i'm in my own soul vibration my soul my divine self my entire state of my of light has me and so that i'm drawing to me this positive life experience if someone is poo-pooing just say you know what i don't feel comfortable talking with you about that subject they might not like it my mom oh, that's okay or you just say yeah it's all good mom you know it, let them be in their own vortex of their own creation, of their own consciousness, of their own thoughts, of their own spiraling heads, of their own emotions. They have theirs and you get to have yours. So when you allow yourself to stay and be positive and no one's out there pushing your buttons and if they are and you don't have any more buttons to push, if you do, that's where the work is. Come work with me in the council. Come do some of the meditations I have. When your buttons are pushed, they're your buttons. But the more neutral you find within yourself, the more neutral you will be to what other people are creating in life because you create your own reality.